Hi, my name is Siti and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are looking at Google Documents and I'm going to show you a little trick on how you can use tables to make your Google Documents more interactive. So let's dive in with another flipped classroom tutorial. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is create a new Google Document. So click on New Google Docs. Now, this Google Document is going to become an interactive document. What that means is I'm going to add a couple of questions to this document and I would like my students to fill it out on the dotted line or on the line. Now, traditionally, Google Documents has been about text only and it's never really allowed students to have that interactivity when answering questions. So let's begin with a question. What is your name? Now, in order for students to fill this out, I am going to add a number of lines. Now, the problem is that students would have to double click on that before they can fill it out. And there's no way of retaining that line, yet also filling in their name. Because as you can see, each stripe or each line underscore is treated as a character. Now, what you can do is you can create tables. Now, previously I've used tables for all sorts of design elements, but right now what we're going to do is we're going to insert a table and this table is going to be a single row table with two columns. Now we're going to do the same thing as before. What is your name? And we are going to leave it in the first column. I'm going to move it slightly to the left. And now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to leave this blank. Since last year, we are also able to change the way our tables look by clicking on the lines. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to, first of all, get rid of all lines in this table. How do I do that? Simple, right click and then select table properties. Here we are going to set the table border to be zero points. That means that basically it becomes invisible. So here we go. Now this table is still here because when I highlight this, you can still clearly see that row. Now, because I am able to select individual lines and individual borders, I'm going to select the border down below and I'm going to change this to one point. As you can see, this now gives me a nice horizontal line. I can even change this line into a dotted line. So there we go. We're going to use this dashed line. We're going to make it slightly thicker. Now, when I answer this question, I can type my answer on that dotted line. Now, I hope you found this little trick helpful and I would love to know if you're going to use this in the future. And there you go, that's all there is to it. Now, I first saw this little trick on Twitter and it was posted by Alice Keeler. Make sure you follow her on Twitter, subscribe to her channel, lots of great content there that you can use and apply in your classrooms. I hope you found this helpful and I will see you in the next one. Thank you for watching.